Recently, there was an update to the Moodle uh, infrastructure as well as an update to the Kaltura video um, streaming service that is used within Moodle. And uh, every once in a while, these updates will cause some potential problems to the use and implementation of Kaltura or videos within your Moodle system. Um, I'm creating this video to explain what you can do about some of the problems that you're facing and also to point to how you might be able to prevent future problems. And if you don't need to use Kaltura, you can definitely use a, the YouTube system. And I'll show you how what that option is like. But if you are using Kaltura, I'll also point to some key things that will help you to ensure that you'll have as few problems as possible when uh, there are upgrades to Moodle or the Kaltura Altura system. Remember, if you are working at VCC or many other institutions uh, within British Columbia, the Kaltura Media System is a tool that is used across a province to make it easier for academic institutions to stream video. Um, you can't just upload a video directly to Moodle or to Desire to Learn or to Canvas or to Blackboard, whatever infrastructure you're using. There has to be a, a, a a video streaming system and so Kaltura is what is being used in, in BC. Now Kaltura would, would be an academic version of YouTube and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll leave it at that. YouTube is YouTube. So if you have the option of using YouTube that might be a simpler way to go. So uh, let me explain what problems have arisen. Where you are going to most likely see this problem is within the forums and especially taking a look at forum posts that were created before the update. So here's an example of a forum post. Um, this student had used the proper way to embed the Kaltura video. Um, they had uploaded the video to my media, they used the embedded routine within the, the forum and they embedded it and then this link should have turned into a, a video. But as you can see, there's no video here. All you see is this line. And when you click on this line, what you end up getting is this little access denied message, right? Unfortunately, the only way that this can be fixed is if Bernie were to come back to the course and simply repost this, this video uh, or repost this uh, forum post and it would fix a problem. We can see something similar here. Um, Another student, uh, this was this worked and this was done properly as well. Um, somebody else said, hey, I can't see your video. And then uh, all George did is um, he reposted the video, and then all of a sudden, boom, you can see it. So uh, sometimes a simple mitigation or simple fix is to repost the forum post. Now that can only work if the students are still available, and they're able to do that. If you're an instructor and you're uploading videos into your Moodle infrastructure, well, then you've got control over those videos and you can simply do the repost and simply sometimes it's just a matter of opening up the 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 window and then saving it again and it will sort of realign itself so that can be easily mitigated if you are the instructor if you're a student um, and you don't have control over the forum posts he's like you see here some of these will just not work that's unfortunate now some of these will work if you use a Firefox browser um, I'm not sure why but for some reason Firefox works a little bit better this will also also work if people have um, used my media incorrectly. You can actually get a link, a URL from uh, your video within my media and post it, and then that will actually open in a Firefox browser, but it will not work in Chrome. So there, there's a few other there, there's a few challenges uh, that can be mitigated by simply testing this out, testing out the um, forums, or using Firefox as your browser. Now, I want to give you an example of uh, what can potentially happen if you don't use the proper embedding scenario within Kaltura. Now, within my media, you can generate a, a URL, which this is, to your media file that exists um, on the um, Kaltura server. Now, um, this isn't the best way to embed video. You can actually embed it this way, but this is not the best way. You actually want to use another embed code that is built within the menu system. But if you have done this, this link will not work if you're using Chrome. It, it will not open. But if you're using Firefox, um, you can open it in a new tab, and um, it will then work. 
right? So yes, it, it can work if you're using Firefox, but this is not the proper way or the best way to uh, embed a, a video. Now there's, there's a few other issues that um, will come up that you can do and, and quite often the forums are flexible enough and, and there's a variety of ways that you can post a URL and sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't. But when we have these updates, this is when those, those sort of improper ways of posting or embedding your videos will potentially get broken. Um, quite a few people are using Zoom and uh, several people have found that you can actually create a video in Zoom and then make a link to that video and send that link to people and it has a potential to work. Now this video can work um, just as long as your Zoom uh, hosting privileges stay intact and you don't start to fill up your space. You only have a certain amount of space and after a while um, new videos will overwrite old, vi old videos so this link has a potential to work for a little while and it might not work right so you know you can um, you can see that if I open this in a new tab um, it will come up um, and it has potential work you click on the button and and it, it will be fine so so this can work but this is not necessarily the best way to uh, embed videos so now if you're using Kaltura I'm going to show you the best way to embed Kaltura videos but if you have the option of using uh, YouTube I'll also show you the YouTube options so again only you know if you if you have to use if your institution requires you to use Kaltura this is a great way to go but if you have the option of doing YouTube or other video streaming services I'd encourage you to give that a that try so um, I'm in an existing post box or dialogue box or dialogue window for a post I'm making on the synchronous collaboration. Now I want to insert a link to a My Media video that I've uploaded. So a video that I've already uploaded into My Media. Because remember, you can't upload stuff directly into uh, Moodle. It just it, There's not enough file space and Moodle doesn't stream things well. You have to either upload it to Kaltura or you know, upload it to YouTube and then make the link. So um, if I want to make a link to a Kaltura video, I click this little down arrow here and it uh, it drops down in a secondary menu and it this will allow me to go into my media system and um, I have to wait till it comes up for a second or two um, and then when it does finally come up it's going to allow me to search for um, a video. So I can actually, I want to look for a video called Power of Video this is the video I, I want to, to use. And, um, oops. <laughs> you got to get the spelling right. Sometimes if you put one word in, oh, there it is. Clip power video, power video. Interesting. So I want to embed this power video. And I simply click on the embed button here. And you'll see it it inserted this code, right? So this is an embed code, and you can't see this, you can't see the video until you save this, right? So if you want to be sure that it, it has worked, you save the changes. Now, in your own, if you're editing your own forums, you have up to 30 minutes to make some changes to your own forum. So you want to do this quickly. So this is a video that was uploaded into the Kaltura system, and it is embedded into my post. And if you click on it, it'll simply it'll simply run. Okay. So this this is one way if you're required to use Kaltura. So you want to use this embed system. Now, um, if you have the option of doing YouTube, there's an, there's something else that can be done just as easy and it's just as simple and it's going to give you a slightly different result and I actually like the result because it gives you a bigger video um, but it, it works just as, I think it's even easier to use if you have the option, remember, if you have the option of using YouTube, this is one way to go. So I'm going to go into the editing of my um, screen here. I'm going to eliminate this particular video. Um, I have uh, already copied a link to my URL from my YouTube video. So it's you upload it to your YouTube channel and then you, you've got this basic YouTube link. Um, now, um, all I simply do is I click on a link, I post the link in here, and I simply click on create the link and there it is. You, you just simply create a link, a, a, a dialog box, insert a link, you put the YouTube video in, and then you hit save changes 
and there's the YouTube video. Now you'll see it, it shows quite large, right? And that's okay. You know, um, it, it, it will scale to whatever size of your desktop. So, you know, you don't have to worry about it being too big. So this is another option that you have if you are posting um, videos from YouTube. So keep that in mind. So there are issues with Kaltura that hopefully I've shown you ways you can mitigate that. I've got several tips videos on Kaltura that talk about the actual uploading to my media and then embedding it. You know, so I've got videos explaining that. But this is one more video that explains some of the problems we've had with Kaltura that can be mitigated by using Firefox. And then again, sort of repetition. If you have the option of using YouTube, then this is one way of, of adding videos to your post and to your Moodle shell if you're the instructor.